Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jedi. So, yeah, let's check this out. Examine the obelisk, because this doesn't feel like a vault. Oh! Maybe it is. I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am <laughs> Master Eno Cordova. No, you are Braytag from Stargate SG-1. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. I had you will oh find boy. the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? So we've got access to the temple, but we can't obviously get in there yet. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Big ass frog thing down.
Hmm. That's about to look like another way in. What you found, buddy? My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death and Oh. Strange. Witches. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Found something else. That's a big skull. Be a lot quicker than the way in. over here so I think that frog thing was over here but there was also a um a chest as well I do prefer having the green saber I don't know why I always preferred the green to the blue Smells worse than Grease does. Little help. Close one. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's a scompling one. Pressing R1 to attack rather than uh, rather than the right button. Sorry, it's just that wall looked like you could run on it. That looks like you can climb it. But I don't think I can get over there yet. Although, maybe. Oh, 
Hi there. That looks just too far the jump. Scompling must be repaired. Oh, bollocks, I've just dropped down to that where I literally just was. That's another way back. Anything around here? <coughs> no, because that goes into the abandoned workshop. It goes into that workshop we were in. Let's head back to the ship. Can't remember if there was a chest down here or not. Yeah, but on the other side, so I can't get to it. Right, back to the ship it is. Found Beady. You passed the test. So you knew about BD One? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD One, this is Grease. Hey Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get, get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. She has a holocron. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic <laughs> have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. 
He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Yeah. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Hal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. What? Dathomir is Epho. It's your choice. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Oh, I've got a meditation spot on the, on the ship now. Now, I've found some lightsaber parts, so let's see what I can upgrade. That's better than it was. Oh, if you can get a if you could get the black saber in this, that would be awesome. Right, rest quickly. Ugh, no. Yeah, I think I'll stick with just the vest. What's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? No. Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of umbar and glass, that's perfect. <laughs> Alright, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. Later, Cal. Please. Alright, where are we going? Where to? <laughs> Pretty well explored. So we're going to Planet Zepho. I was discovered by a seeker when I was very young. They took me to the temple to train. Oh, yeah. Seekers. They're one of a kind, I'll tell you that much. You have no idea what a seeker is, do you? <laughs> Not a clue. They seek things? Yes. They're Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that holocaust. I was a seeker. Oh, whoa. You know what this means. I didn't discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. Hmm. No, it means I'm a seeker too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, seeker grease. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. Think of a storm.
storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bob's ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Hmm. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Encouraging. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not the smoothest of landings. Perfect landing. <laughs> Easy money, baby. Uh -huh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's going to take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, Closely we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. Mm. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof. Uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Edie wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. <laughs> Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Good. Oh. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? The uh, ship. Just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself. Especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> this baby was a steal. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal it. I bought it. Well, I sort of, I almost. I mean, I got a small loan. <laughs> Big loan, actually. No, it's fine. Oof. Look, we're all fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't you have Jedi stuff to Great, do? Great, so we have debt collectors oh, coming after us. It's been just you and Seer for a while? Oh, yeah, she's great company. <laughs> what about you? How long were you alone on Braca? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had, uh... People. Friends? It's hard to have friends when they have secrets. Uh, don't worry about it. Friends... Friends are overrated. <whistles> what did that say? He said we're all his friends. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. Yeah. What do you want? You're up to something. <laughs> Nothing gets past old Greasy. I'm watching. Oh, Don't beat it. What do we find? Hey, BD one skin. Hmm. 
So I don't feel right about this place. It's abandoned. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. Stormtrooper. Empire's here. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Scanning again? I'll check it out. Is this place? Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Carry more? Thanks, Speedy One. What is that? Stim crate? Uh, stim capacity? Hey. So I'm on the roof. I got it. Noted. Come on. easy. Oh no, no no no. <laughs> it's like he knew it was coming. <laughs> he still opened fire.
warning from the Empire. Great. Buddy. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. An eviction notice. Thanks, BD1. Who wants to take a shot first? <laughs> Just standing over there waiting for me. Did you find something, BD1? Hello? Ooh, safe spot. It's a little disconcerting. Right. Um. Back in the hangar. Hey, what is it? Yeah, a little bit cleaner than the rigger outfit I had. Found something. Okay, I'll look. Yeah, because the more stuff I find for him to scan, the better. Because it's more experience and it increases the like, knowledge you learn, knowledge you have around the area of the world, rather. Come on. Take a shot. How can we win? I'm after him. There he goes. Okay. Take 
her and go. I'll lead them away. Alster, no! God, the, why are the Empire such assholes? It's like I've always genuinely wondered that. Like, they don't have to be such assholes, but they just are. Oh. Ah, bloody phone. But it was since that made me jump. Some save point up there. Where are you taking us? The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees. Shipped off to work camps. Or worse. Work camps or just executed. Don't know what should be worse from the Empire to be honest. Yep. Hi. Stupid stormtrooper! <laughs> oh, he's just, he, I just... My friend just shot at him. It instantly got blasted by his own thing. I know, I'll shoot at him. Maybe I'll get better. I figure out how to repair that scomp link, because that's like the third box I've come across that I can't open because it's broken. There's no point resting because it'll just respawn all the enemies. So, skill tree. Uh, requires two skill points, one skill point, one, one. Um, yeah, to be honest, this is a pretty good place to end, uh, to end the episode, because so, obviously we won't need to go into that dark cave to figure out where to go next, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content like it. As always, there'll be a link to the full players in the description, and I hope to see you next time. Adios.